Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Shannon. Thanks for coming by. Happy Sunday to everyone. We're going to be starting off with some Oracle cards. See what energies we have around us. My dog just jumped off the bed. So if you hear some whining, that's because he decided that he wants to get back up. Because he's like, yeah, he's like having a toddler. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What energies do we have supporting the collective? The sheep and blackberry with devotion. We can get it to focus. These cards are beautiful. That's the number five. I'm curious. And then what is challenging us? We have the raccoon and the sycamore, number 33, with curiosity. Hmm. So devotion is helping us. Curiosity is challenging us. We've got healing wounds with the badger and ginkgo, number 32, surprisingly, on the bottom of the deck. All right. Using the um, beautiful creatures tarot, let's jump into our reading. And look, you guys can actually see the cards because I'm like laying down in bed. Well, you guys sort of see the cards. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to set this camera up better. All right, what are we dealing with today for the collective? What is the main theme currently for the collective, please? The Eight of Cups with Quest. Ooh, all right, what are we moving towards? Or more importantly, what are we moving away from? Or we have the quest as being, hmm. Let's see here, what do we need to know about this quest? Queen of Wands. Whatever this quest is, it's something that you are completely hell-bent on completing with the world here on the bottom. Okay? So being in this Queen of Wands energy, you might be being tempered a little bit with also having the eight of cups energy here because if you think about it water fire they don't they don't mix too well um but it looks like we're devoted to whatever this cause is however let's keep in mind here that curiosity is our challenging energy so let's just be thoughtful that we are staying on track and not getting too involved into things that we shouldn't be. What do we need to know? Can I clarify what this quest is, Spirit? The Page of Cups with Inventiveness. Maybe you're working towards building something new. Hmm. There seems to be a lot of uncertainty surrounding you right now. Can I clarify this Queen of Wands? Like, even though you're showing up here as the Queen of Wands, it, it almost feels like this is like just a veil. Yeah, okay. So Five of Pentacles clarifying the Queen of Wands here. So this might be some type of, of a false front you're putting on kind of like a fake it till you make it sort of thing but energetically like um just keep in mind that you can fool people but you're never going to be able to fool the universe right we have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck so it looks like you're kind of in a holding pattern here and I can tell you with certainty for for someone here 
the, the holding pattern is being created because of your own self-limiting beliefs. You need to let go of these. What is the advice here for this inventive Queen of Wands? Okay, it looks like we need to go through some type of yeah, we've got the devil on the bottom of the deck, which comes up as the habit. And it's funny, I said that, you know, I, I've tried to do this reading a few times now. I, I've done it with a different deck each time. And every single time, it's been basically the same message. There's something that in this particular situation, but apparently someone does not want me to get out there. But Spirit is trying desperately to help me get this out there. Um... There is something going on with a codependency or maybe not even a codependency, just a dependency on something. And this doesn't necessarily have to be drugs. I mean, or alcohol or anything like that. This could be, you know, an addiction to winning. It could be an addiction to um lying it could be an addiction it really it's anything that's going to make you make you choose whatever that is over and above everything else okay so I see that you're trying okay this makes more sense now I see you're trying to move on you're trying to move past whatever this is, but you feel like you're coming up short here with the Five of Pentacles. You feel like you've been left, you know, left out in the cold, like everybody's forgotten about you, which is leading here to this Three of Swords energy and the Tower here. Okay. So basically, this is the universe coming through and tearing shit down, saying, okay, fine, we've given you the opportunity, but if you are so, you know, you're so about this, you, you need this, um, you're devoted to moving past this, but you aren't able to on your own, no worries, we're going to come through and we're going to, we're going to you know, flatten the ground so you can start over. Um, this makes a lot of sense with the curiosity being our challenging energy with the devil here. It looks like we might be dabbling in something that is not good for us, not good for our soul, not good for our psyche, and not good for the people around us. That is a direct warning or nod to someone's situation you know that it's not good. You know that it's pushing you in the wrong direction. You're trying to get out. Sorry, that's Howie. You're trying to get out of this cycle. And the universe is now helping you to accomplish that. And I see after this... What's wrong? I'm sorry. Come here. Come here. Come here. I apologize. Okay, here's Howie. Say hi, Howie. All right, so I see the universe is helping you here. And after this tower moment that you have, we see that you're coming out with the Ten of Cups. You're, you're getting what it is that you want, but first you need to, you need to be able to move past whatever this attachment addiction Whatever this habit is, let's see what this habit is. I mean, it's going to be different for everyone, isn't it? But for a bulk of you, it is codependency, the lovers. With the fool on the bottom of the deck, yeah. Some of you are, are holding on to something 
And it's funny because devotion's coming out as the energy that's helping us. And it's kind of like devotion is this double-edged sword in this reading because you have a devotion to seeing yourself move forward and beating out this quote-unquote devil. However, you also have a devotion to this habit that you have. Interesting. And in this deck, the lovers, it's ultimatum is what this lovers card is. So I definitely get the vibe that this has to do with, and I really feel like it's one-sided. I don't feel like this is a codependent relationship. I kind of feel like this is more of like a stalkery type vibe, like, but in like a sad way. And I guess it's always kind of a sad thing, but can we clarify the Ten of Cups? The Four of Wands. Okay, so, I mean, that's great news. You've got the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, what else here? The Six of Swords. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So maybe that's where um, curiosity, meaning... Yeah, we've got the two of swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, be careful to what you're clinging to. I see you getting through this tower. I see you finally getting to a place where you want to be that is stable and secure. I see you moving forward in a very direct way. But with the four of pentacles coming out here, I kind of see this as like a last warning, like, yeah, you made it through the tower and you're doing great, but let's not forget that, um, let's not forget where we came from. Let's not forget where we started from because we don't want to fall back into old habits. So maybe devotion to staying the course with whatever this change you're making is, is going to be a big part of this and staying away from the curiosity that may lure you back into this situation is also a big part of this. And then, like I said, with the energy, the energy, uh, the Oracle deck we used for the energies, we have healing wounds on the bottom of the deck. And I think that that fits so beautifully in with this because, you know, like I said, it's not just about drugs or alcohol or sex or, we can become addicted to literally anything. People become addicted to tarot all the time. Um, you know, we let ourselves get into these patterns where, where we build up these false crutches for ourselves. And sometimes it takes the universe coming through and saying, no, you know what? You can do better than this. You deserve better than this. And you need to keep reminding yourself of that. And I'm, that is the vibe of this reading. You're going to rise above this, but it's your job to maintain that. You have all of your guides, spirit, God, however you want to refer to it. You have everyone in the world and off the world and helping you out so um just remember you're not alone that is the most important thing to remember you are not alone even though this may seem difficult remember that you are divinely guided and that everything happens in divine timing this too shall pass and once it does you're walking out into a beautiful field of flowers and i can't wait for you guys to get there that's where I'm going to leave it at today, guys. I really hope that this resonated with someone because good Lord knows it was a hell of a battle to get this message out to you. All right. I will see you all soon. Enjoy the, the very last hours of your uh, weekend, and I hope you all have a great Monday. See you soon.